Hi, my name is Mark David Krasiak, and today I'm going to show you um, my camera equipment, my still photography equipment, and some excellent camera bags. Okay, this is a Quantary Pro gadget bag, and it's what I, what my camera usually lives in. I use this bag the most out of all of them. Okay, if you open it up, there's my EOS 30D with. Um, Sigma 18 to 50 lens on it. It's a great lens, great camera, big screen, uh, track wheel. It works really well. I love this camera. It has a pop up flash, but I never use pop up flash because it's terrible when taking a picture. Moving on, I have my Canon EOS Rebel XT, which is my backup camera. Wait, it has a battery grip, a BGE2. BGE3, sorry. It works really well. Um, it has a small screen though, and I it's only 8 megapixel, and I wanted to get a better one, so I did. And this is the battery grip is really nice. It holds um, two batteries, and you can also put in a double A mount for it. So this is also a really good camera. Once again, it has a pop up flash, but I never use it. Okay, for flash, I have a 580 EX. Uh, 580EX2 flash. It has the digital screen. It's the newer model. Really powerful. Excellent flash. Phenomenal. And but it's $500, and that's the price of a uh, Rebel XT or XTI. It has a built-in bounce card, a widescreen diffuser, and the digital LCD screen. And it's a really good flash. It has ports to plug in a quantum battery which is really helpful if you're shooting a wedding. And that's my 580 flash, and it can also be a ma be, can be used as a master to trigger other flashes. But this is my primary flash. I use this pretty much whenever I'm indoors taking pictures. Then I have a 420 flash, and this is just a... It's kind of beat up. It goes on my Rebel. It's a backup once again, like my Rebel camera. It's old. It has the old light panel screen. It's just, I don't know. It works well, though, so I use it just once again as a backup. All right, now lenses. I have a 135 to 400 millimeter telephoto. This lens, it's an f2.8. It's a really great lens. Um, I use this for a majority of my wildlife pictures, and it works really, really well. Um, I can't say, well, it's a little bit slow at focusing, but other than that, it's a great lens. Okay. Let's see. Now, we have my favorite lens, my Sigma uh, 10 to 20 ultra wide, Sigma EX 10 to 20 ultra wide, and this is an absolutely phenomenal lens. It works really well, really well. Um, great for panoramics. I cannot say anything bad about this lens. I love it. This is by far my favorite lens. It works great. And Sigma, Sigma EX line, the professional line, makes an absolutely excellent lens. And for 10 to 20 ultra wide, surprisingly, it does not distort the picture like a fish I would. It's really nice. I highly recommend this lens. I have a 1.850 millimeter. And then 28 to 80, which came with my EO 650, which is my 35 millimeter body. It's pretty good. Just a beater. This is my Canon 55 to 250 uh, image stabilization lens, and it's good. I use it when I just want to do light telephoto. I don't want it to break up the 400 millimeter. And then I have my EO 650 in there. In the front pocket of my bag, I keep my various press credentials, more press credentials, and more. There's a lot here. But, um, those are important. Those always go right back in the front pocket of this bag because I can't be without them. I keep my 30D battery charger. I keep my XT battery charger. And I keep a flashlight because you never know when you'll need one. And a pen and a sharpie. Once again, you never know if you'll need it. 
In here I keep a rain sleeve, various cords and manuals. This pocket, I keep my tripod mount for my 400 and uh, some cords. Alright, now we're going to talk about some camera bags, and I have a lot of those here today. And I'm going to recommend, well, you could probably figure out which one is best for you. Alright, first I'm going to show you the Cloneray U30 Urban Backpack. And this is a really, really good bag. Backpack, it's good for hiking. On here I have a low pro attachment to put on my 400 millimeter telephoto, just because it takes up too much room on the inside. That's what it looks like on the inside. It has this good uh, water tight pocket. It has a really spacious pocket on the front. It goes really deep down. I can fit almost my whole hand in there. And then it has a really comfortable strap system. It works really well for hiking. Then, my personal favorite camera bag is the National Geographic bag, and I love this. Um, I call it the photojournalist bag. It's spacious, has a lot of room, works really, really well. It can hold up. I use this when I have to uh, take out my laptop, and I just want to bring a DSLR because there's a base for my laptop here. And uh, my DSLR. And then this goes over, zips up, and this flap goes over, buttons shut to keep out rain. There's two really big spacious pockets on the front. Two good pockets on the front here. That's my phone. Um, I'm just going to let it ring. Then there's just accessories in here, like my Gary Fong light diffuser. So, that's really nice. Okay, then right here, I have my Tamarack 135 to 4 Tamarack bag. I don't know why I was talking about a lens here, but um, this is a really good bag. I use this as my on-the-go grab bag. I just throw in um, my digital SLR. It doesn't have much space, but it's good. Just put, a put it in there with the medium zoom lens and run off and you're pretty much set because it's, it's pretty well padded. There's a pocket for the cell phone there. And it's an all around a pretty good bag. Now we have the Low Pro Photo Runner. And this is a really cool bag. Um, I usually keep my camp rotor in here. You can put a DSLR in there. It's pretty spacious, works really well. It can be, I never use it like this, but it can be used as a fanny pack. Um, I never use it like that, just, I, I don't like that. But it can also be used with a strap or has a handle here. It zips up well. Um, the one thing I don't like about this bag is the zippers on it tend to get caught up here. It's just the way it's designed, it gets caught in the fabric. It gets really annoying. But you also have a button, two snaps up here to keep it really secure once it's zipped, and this is a pretty good bag all around. Now, I have another, well, this isn't a bag, this is a case. And this is what I use when I travel. This is a Pelican 1500 watertight, I guess I could say bulletproof case, fire resistant. This case is, it could stop a bullet. It's crazy. It even has to have a purge gauge on the front here, so if you're on a plane and you change air pressure, you won't be able to open the case. The latches will open, but this part won't, because different air pressure, so you have to open that for 10 seconds. But, um, I open this. You can have custom foam, or what I have, I just have the pads, because I change my layout around with my cameras. Um, that's how it's set up, but this is best for traveling. If you don't want to carry on your camera, you can check it in this. I did carry my camera on a plane once with this, and um, it was a lot of hassling with security. A lot of hassling. They had to open it up, search it. I don't know what they thought was in there, but it couldn't be x-rayed or something. So, yeah, it was really hectic at the airport, and I travel a lot. So I 